All right. Um, good morning, everybody. This is Sadie Werfline from Mortar. Um, we're just, I see we have a couple more people trickling in. So um, we'll just get started with some introductions and um, let you know what to expect as we dive into this webinar today. So um, myself, I am Sadie Werfline, as I mentioned, and I am the community manager here at Mortar. And then I do have some colleagues on the webinar with me this morning. Good morning. I'm Juliana Argus. I'm the social strategist here at Mortar, and I will be hanging out with you guys in the Q&A panel and the chat section. So um, feel free to leave any of your questions or your thoughts over there. Hi, good afternoon, guys. My name is Michelle Setti, and I am the market director for Material Bank, and I'm super excited uh, to be here with you guys today. Yeah, and we are so excited to have Michelle with us today as well. So um, just some housekeeping items as we're, as we're getting started here. I mentioned this earlier. If you didn't hear already, the good news is you're on mute and you're, everybody's video is disabled. So I think we're all much more comfortable with Zoom meetings and go-to meetings these days. But um, if you're like me, the first thing I have to do is figure out if people could see or hear me. So don't worry about that. We've got that taken care of for you. If you do have a question or comment throughout the webinar, both the Q&A and the chat are live. And like Juliana mentioned, she's gonna be monitoring those throughout. So if you have a question, you submit that. We'll try to just go ahead and pause and answer them as they come in. And then we'll also reserve a couple of minutes at the end to address any questions that maybe haven't been answered yet. And we are recording today's webinar, so we'll share that link with everybody by email. Um, you can expect that in the next day or two. We'll go ahead and send that along. So if you have to jump off or if you uh, find that anything that's covered in here would be valuable to somebody else that you'd like to share it with, it'll just be a, an easy email to pass along. So with that, let me give you an idea of what you can expect and a little bit of background about why we're here today. So Mortar is a platform that's really designed to serve the entire commercial construction and design industry. So um, that might be companies who service the industry, such as architects, designers, general contractors. It could also be product manufacturers who we refer to as brands. And it also includes the customers of these companies. So thinking developers, business owners, the people who really own those commercial projects. But for purposes of this webinar today, we wanna focus on those of you who work in the design process. And we're gonna be sharing some of the tools that Mortar and Material Bank together have to offer to you as you work through that process. So it's just an idea of kind of what to expect here. And we know right now, um, many of us in the industry, well, actually everywhere in the world, um, are finding ourselves working remote. So it's a bit of a change uh, for some of us. Maybe for some of, some of us, it's not. I know we're very fortunate at Mortar. This was an easy transition. We had already some remote employees, and many of us would work remote from time to time. Uh, but for a lot of people out there, it's a completely new experience, and you're adapting to probably new technology and um, struggling to find ways ways to be efficient and make the connections that you need to make to get through your day and your projects and your processes so um yeah we know it's presenting a lot of problems and challenges and so we are not going to get into all of those challenges here but trust me i know um, for many people on this call that list might be really really long but what we do want to focus on is how our two platforms, Mortar and Material Bank, working together can help ease some of the headaches and the hurdles that you might be running into. Absolutely, and um, really our hope is that any of the efficiencies or the benefits that you pick up while you're working remotely, um, you'll be able to carry back to the office whenever that, whenever that day comes. Um, and hopefully our platform, both of our platforms can help with some of that that innovation that carries over um, once everyone is back in the office. Most definitely. Um, so we're gonna start, I, I, I hope Jules did my screen change. Are we looking at mortar.com? Sure yeah. Um, every, everything with a, this technology, any win is great. So um, yeah, we're gonna start by taking a quick look at some of the features and the tools that you can find on Mortar. So whether that's finding inspiration, it's a, during this time where you can't physically explore commercial spaces. Um, we'll show you how you can click around on Mortar to see some of these really great commercial projects and installations that are being showcased by the many amazing companies that are represented on our site. Um, we're also going to show you how you can stay connected with your colleagues and how to connect with um, even new companies using Mortar. 
And then finally, the best part, we're going to talk about sourcing, specifying, and sampling products, which is now even easier with our direct connection to Material Bank. And then we'll um, turn it over to Michelle Setti, and she'll uh, show you around Material Bank and highlight some of the tools that you're able to use over there. So with that, jumping right into the site. So I'm not going to give you a full tour of mortar. If that's something you're interested, we do have another webinar series that is uh, more of a mortar overall. Uh, but I do want to point out a few key things here. Um, we have a search bar that you'll find on every page. So whatever you're looking for, you have the ability to just go ahead and type it in. Maybe it's a product, maybe it's a type of product, a company, a type of company, whatever you're looking for inspiration on or, or a real specific find, you can use this search. Um, I'll just type one in and give you an idea of what that looks like. So I'm just going to search for hospitality lighting. Um, we, we present with a few different options for how you want to actually browse once you've put your search, entered your search on this homepage. So if you just want to look at images and get ideas, you can click view more. This is going to take you over to our inspiration page and all of the results that are related to your search are going to be populated there. Maybe you're looking for a company. So over here you see professionals and brands. Professionals would be those who provide services. Brands, again, are those manufacturers. So here you might be looking at lighting designers, manufacturers, reps, and then over here you have the actual manufacturers. So I'm actually just gonna click into a company and then show you real quickly what a, a average company profile looks like on Mortar. So here I've come into this company. I can see more about what they do. Um, this gives me a quick scroll of some of the projects that they're showcasing on their profile, a little bit more about their company. And then I, the part I wanna point out is over here, this let's collaborate box. So if I wanna connect directly with this company, this is how I do it. I can click the message us and launch a message directly to them. I can also navigate from here right to their website or their social pages, or, or I can click here to get their phone number and give them a call. So. Just want to point that out. Any company profile that you find on Mortar, that's a real easy way to go in and connect with them. And from here, I'm going to navigate over to our inspiration page. So again, this is where all of our photos live on Mortar. So you can see at the top, I have, again, that search bar. Here it's narrowed down to inspiration, so it is going to search specifically with photo results. Um, I also have some filter options here. So if I want to filter what I'm looking at, maybe I want to filter down by the sector. We also allow you to filter by space or the type of product that you want to see. You have those options. Um, but otherwise, it's just uh, you're able to just scroll through. So any of the company subscribers who are showcasing their work on Mortar, any of that content that's being showcased is going to be um, funneled into this page. So this is where you can find it. So from here, I'm just going to click into an image and give you an idea of what sort of data you can find um, attached to any of the images on Mortar. Um, by clicking in, I can see on the right side, the company who posted this image, this is a, an image by Crossville, um, and then it has a little bit more information about this particular product line. Um, for our professionals showcasing work, this might be uh, more of a description of the project itself. And then um, right on the image, you can see this white dot. I'll click on that. This is a product tag. So this gives me, as a user, uh, just more information about that particular product. And it's placed specifically on the product that it's describing. So this is Crossville's own product that they're describing. I can get more information about um, this cursive line. And then I have some links down here. So this more product info allows me to navigate right to a, a, the product page for um, Crossville's cursive line. I can also from here do that one click jump over to Material Bank if I'm, if I'm a designer and I'm interested in ordering the sample for this line. Um, I also see a button here where I can download specifications. So more on this uh, material bank button in a few moments, but just want to highlight how you find that product information on our images. Um, again, in this image, this is showcased by Crossville and they're tagging their own product. Um, often we'll see maybe designers or architects who are showcasing their projects and they will often also include brand tags on various products within. So it, you might see three, four, five brand tags uh, with different products on that image that are being called out. And Sadie, would you walk through briefly just some of those other options um, that they have when they're in that full full screen photo view mode? 
Yeah, definitely. So down here, you can see I have um, a star. I'll go ahead and give a star. So that is just like a like or a thumbs up if you want to show that company some love for that project or that image that they're sharing. Um, the share button does exactly that, allows you to share this as a link by email, by social media. And then you also see the save button. So this is where we want to spend a little bit of time talking about our design room features. So I am going to go ahead and save this image to one of my design rooms. And so design rooms, think of that as like a board where you're able to save anything that you like as you're browsing throughout the site. Um, I'll go ahead and save this into an existing design room and I'll add that there. And then we'll be able to come back to that and I'll show you uh, what that looks like in my personal profile. So let me just go ahead and navigate there now. I am right now logged into my own um, personal profile, as I said, on the site. So we have our, our company subscribers showcasing their work. And then Mortar is also available for anybody to create a free personal profile, which is completely private. So you can search for the company source showcasing on the site, but you can't go in and search for individuals. So everything you see here that we're looking at is um, private on my own profile and other people are not able to access. Um, so starting here with my dashboard, what I've done here is we have, you have the ability to follow certain companies. So you see the follow button by any company that you're looking at on Mortar. And when I follow them, it's gonna load their information in here. And this is just a quick one click or a quick <laughs> rather one click link over to that profile. Um, so maybe it's companies that I work with or that I wanna work with or um, just companies that I'm interested in for whatever reason. We also have a feed of images that were most recently added by the companies that I'm following. So I can scroll through that and see what sort of projects those companies are up to. And then down here, these are any of the images that I've starred as I've gone through Mortar. So if I wanna recall any of those, that's an easy way for me to get back to them. From there, I will click over to our design room tab and um, just share a little bit with you about design rooms. So, um, Design rooms in general, this is just a, a, quite simply, it's a board. It's a place where you can save any of the images that you find on Mortar, as well as images or PDF documents that you're finding outside of Mortar. You are able to save them here. So you can keep a design room to yourself um, and not share its content with anyone else, or you do have the ability to invite others to join your design room. So there are a lot of different ways to use them. Um, from here, I'll just go ahead and I'll click into one of these design rooms. You can see this one actually has a red dot. That tells me that there is a new comment that's been posted by one of the collaborators in this design room that I have not yet seen. So by clicking in here, um, there's a description at the top. So the, the individual who creates the design room can um, fill in whatever, whatever copy you need to uh, with the design room description. This lets you tell anybody else that you might be inviting what your purpose is for that design room. Maybe it's on a overall project level or maybe it's more narrowed down and you wanna really get specific about what you expect them to share or what feedback you're hoping that they share within that design room. And then you can see I do have some collaborators on this design room. So if you hover over their images, you can see their name. Um, every, I think almost every design room I have on my profile is um, for demonstration purposes. So um, these are all my, some of my mortar coworkers. Um, but if I wanted to invite somebody else, it's really simple. I just click on that plus, plus sign and then I just invite by email. So that just launches a little email off to that person that says, hey, Sadie wants you to collaborate in this particular design room and it gives them a direct link to um, jump in that design room with me. I think it's important also with that, Sadie, is that they do not have to be on Mortar currently to receive that invite. So this is open to anyone really in your, in your Rolodex, if you're still using those, to get them onto the platform and, and utilize these rooms in whatever way you see fit. So they'll get that notification whether they have created a profile or not. Absolutely. And then you can see just by peeking at this sample design room that um, some of these images are right from mortar, say images I've loaded in from mortar. And then some are like, here's a rendering, here's a drawing. So you are, as I mentioned before, able to load other content into the design room, even if it didn't come from mortar. And then by clicking in, I can see some conversation that's happening around this particular image. So 
um, on the right side of the screen here, I can scroll through and see any of the comments that have been added. Um, I also receive notification when those comments go on and you can see you can include an attachment with your comment. Um, you can at mention somebody that's in the room on the comment so they know this is really about you that you need to, um, you know, pay quicker attention maybe to that particular comment. And you can see everything is date and time stamps. So this is just the nice record of any conversation that's been happening. So whether it's an internal team working with a, a client or a customer or a prospect, um, it gets that conversation out of your email and um, really lets you do that, uh, have that, have that collaboration real specifically in this one hub, in this one place. The other thing I'll point out is that this image because it was saved right from mortar, it retains all of the information that was attached to it. So I can still click right to this company's profile or their page. Um, I can see more from this particular project. This has a brand tag on it as well. So I can still access that tag. I can do that one click over to Material Bank. Um, so it's one of the great features that you don't lose that information or that data that is attached to it. Um, also wanna point out that you can also do comments on a design room level. So um, you can, well, you'll notice here these little callouts tell me that there are comments on these images. But when I scroll down, I also have the ability to put some comments just on a design room level. So maybe my conversation is not specifically about the picture, maybe it's about the project in general, or, you know, in this case, we want to have a meeting. So um, that's an, another powerful tool that you're able to um, just keep that overall conversation grouped together. Um, and just as an idea, you know, I want to give you some ideas about how you can use design rooms. So um, the term design rooms really implies that it's for, for designers to use um, and collaborate with one another as though, you know, as though you're in a chat room, which is great, but there are kind of other applications and um, it's up to you how you want to use them. So once you have a personal profile in Mortar, you can have as many design rooms as you want and you can invite as many collaborators if, as you'd like to. Um, and you're also not limited to the number of images or documents that you're loading into your design room. So it really opens up your possibilities. Um, and just giving you uh, off the top of my head, I'll give you a couple of ideas of how you could possibly use them. First, like I said, it's a board. So it's really just a place where you can save things. So whether it's something you found on Mortar or elsewhere, if it inspires you, if you like it, if you don't like it, <laughs> whatever the reason is, um, it's like a, like a mood board. You can group things together. You can include your feelings. Um, every time you add an item to the design room, you can attach uh, a note, not a comment, but even just a note or a description to it. Um, so it lets you get those thoughts together in one place and, and group those things accordingly. Um, and then share it with others if you'd like to. Um, another thought is really sharing your inspiration. So we definitely hope that our users find inspiration on Mortar, but we know that many of you, um, especially A&D users, you already have your inspiration by the time you've arrived at Mortar, which is great. So what's maybe more powerful to you is to use your design room to share that inspiration with your clients or with your colleagues. So you can use this as a platform to organize and share your vision with a team. You can put thoughts with images, like I said, and allow others to do the same. That could be really high level. Maybe it's overall inspiration or vision as you're starting a project, or maybe it's really drilled down, like um, we're talking about the couches that are gonna go in the front lobby. Um, you can do that with the, your design room. So use your design room um, in many ways. You can use it to guide clients to certain products or brands that fit within their budget or with it, um, products that fit within um, your vision for the project. So if you've located them on Mortar, you can link them right in there and then um, allow the clients to go in and access them and get an idea for what you're thinking. Um, it's just a great way to get, get the thoughts and the, and the visions out there collect thoughts, objections, if you will, and then um, maybe even letting clients or others on the team weigh in earlier, easier without having to schedule a meeting or a, in today's world, a Zoom um, or whatever it might be. Um, another way would be the reverse of that. So use it to collect your clients' inspiration, you know, create a design room, ask them to share some images that inspire them or um, to help get an idea, a better idea or better visual of thoughts that they have around a project or a specific component of the project. Um, it also can be used as more of a project management tool. So this is a great way to 
keep teams up to speed on the status. Maybe their pictures actually taken from the job site. Maybe um, an installation's happened and you can take a picture of it and share it with everybody and share thoughts through the, through the, the design room. Maybe you need a quick decision on something. This keeps those conversations again out of your email so they're organized and again there's a record of them with a date and time stamp of who said what when. Um, so sometimes, well I, I think very often the decision is continuously changing or the, the thought process may be continuously changing so um, it helps keep it in that correct order. Um, last thing I'll point out on design rooms is we do see, um, and this is something that surprised us, but we we're really happy to see this happening, but we do see a lot of sales teams using design rooms. So um, maybe that's your company's internal sales team and they, um, even if your company is showcased on Mortar, a lot of times the sales rep might need to share really specific images um, grouped together in a way that best suits them. Um, maybe not necessarily the way they're grouped together on um, some of your company's other marketing materials on your website, even in your company's Mortar profile if you do have one. So uh, a sales rep can organize images and thoughts together within a design room and share them with prospects and have a conversation about it. Um, we do actually even have a um, kind of a presentation mode that I'll show you real quickly. So anybody using design rooms can do this. You can um, easily flip through. You can see the, I chose the option with the comments. You can do it without comments. So sales teams tend to like these. And the great thing is you can repurpose them when you're done. So um, once they're through that sales process, they could remove that prospect. And then um, in the future, if they need to reuse that, they can make any edits to the content and then just easily invite other people. So um, yeah, these are just a few ideas. Um, and I want oh, sorry, go ahead, Sadie. No, you go ahead. I just have been blabbing nonstop. Oh, great. I think it's important to note that even if your company isn't currently showcasing on Mortar, this is still a free tool for any of your, if it's your sales team or your marketing team or your, you know, your design team that's looking to do um, internal or external organization and presentations. Um, this is a free open platform to anyone. So your, your company doesn't have to be on Mortar for you to be utilizing this tool. We'd love for them to be, but um, this is just an option that um, we want available to everyone. Exactly, exactly. Um, so I want to be respectful of everybody's time, and I know I'm, I'm really excited for Michelle to share some um, share some stuff with you on the Material Bank Connection, so, or once we hop over to that site. So with that, I just clicked right into this image that I had saved to my design room. I know this has the option for me to click over to Material Bank. So again, this is for designers. So if you're a designer and, you're, and you use Material Bank, this is your one-click um, connection to that particular product or product line on um, Material Bank. So I just clicked in and you can see it loaded this particular product from the cursive line. And from here, Michelle, um, I'm just going to turn it over to you and let you um, take control of the screen. Oh, Michelle, are you on mute? Hi guys, can you hear me and see me okay? We can hear and see now, great. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, as Sadie was saying, when you click on that interactive button on the site, you can order a sample and it will take you to the Material Bank site. Now, as long as you have an account set up with us and you are logged into it, you know, you saved your password, it's going to take you directly to that product page. So I want to point out a few things on this product page and then we'll go from the home page to kind of walk you through all of the really cool features and tools that you have, you have access to as a Material Bank member. So when you're on a product page, a few things that I want to point out. You have your ships overnight indicator. So this button is typically blue when it's available for overnight shipment. If it is not available, it's black and you can still order it. It's just not gonna come that next day. So on the items that are available for next day, I'll show you an example. That button is going to be blue. So kind of like your Amazon Prime button. And a few other features on your product page that I wanna share is your multi-select button. So let's say you've come across this product and you're really interested in it, but you're not really sure what rendition of blue is gonna work for you. You can hit this multi-select button here 
and check mark both of those items and add them to your cart at the same time. On Material Bank, we do ask you for a project name because we are connecting you with your reps. Um, and that is because when you place an order on our site, we like to let them know what project you're working on and that way it ensures that if the project does go live, they get their credit and also when you contact them, they know what you're talking about. We wanna make sure that we maintain those connections. On the product page, you also find all of the specification info that we have as well as, well as any PDF documentation. So we store them down here for easy access. Okay, so now I want to take you back to our homepage and walk you through the different ways that you can search on the site. So you have your materials by type and subtype and these are all hyperlinked. You can also search by application. You can search by brand. I'm sure the designers on here have brands that they use pretty often. You can go directly to a brand page from the site and you can also go directly to a brand page that maybe you want to explore. So that's a big component of Material Bank is discovery of new brands and new materials. And on the topic of new materials, those live up here. This is going to be anything that is new on the site or that a brand has recently launched. And you'll notice over here on the left-hand side, we have a series of filters that allow you to refine your search. And then you have your palettes, which is another way to discover materials. We used to post these on Instagram for purely inspirational uh, purposes and pretty recently and due to very high demand, um, we've made them available for ordering. So you can order a palette on our site or you can pick out the individual materials that caught your attention. And then you have your shortcuts that are technical for the most part. Um, if you are working on an environmentally conscious project, you have some of those shortcuts here and then some fun things in the discover section. So those are the different ways that you can look for a material on, um, on the site. And then of course you have your keyword search bar that lives front and center. So what I wanna do with you all is do a really quick example search to show you how the filters work. So what happens a lot as designers, I, I do have a design background, is we spend a lot of time scrolling, right, on all of these different websites. But on Material Bank, when you are looking for a material, we allow you to search for that type of material, so this blue textile, across all of the textile brands on our site, across aesthetic um, filters and technical filters instantly. So let's say just for our, our demo purpose that we want to upholster a chair in a commercial setting. I can really dial in what I need by its application. So I can say, all right, it's gonna be that seating application. Say I want it to have a pattern, we can go with stripe. And then I can dig into those technical attributes. I need it to have 100,000 double rubs. And let's say I need it to have a certain flammability rating. And all of these filters will change depending on the type of material we're looking at. Right now we're looking at textile. Um, so obviously the filters are gonna pertain to that. So with those very few clicks, I mean four clicks, I've taken over 6,000 SKUs and refined it to 100 SKUs that I know I can actually use and apply for my project. And then of course you have your ships overnight toggle. Again, your Amazon Prime button, I like to joke. And um, I wanna click into another material for you guys and show you how the boards work. So you'll notice over here there is a pin button and that button lives in a few places on the site. And when you click that button, it allows you to create a project board or add it to an existing board that you've made in the past. And those boards live up here in your boards section. So think of this as like Pinterest, but specifically made for designers when it comes to specification. So you can create a board for each and every project. You can create a board for clients with standards. You can create like a digital stash board of really cool things that you like but don't have a project for quite yet. Once you are inside of your board, you can do a lot of really powerful things. You could add images similar to a Motar site and um, you can add, whether it's an inspiration image, a product image, an elevation, whatever the case may be. And as of today, which you guys are the first ones to hear about it, I just got an email this morning, you can now move the images around to create your board however you'd like uh, that collage to look, which is really, really exciting. We've been getting asked um, about this for a long time, so I'm absolutely thrilled that we've launched it. 
Um, so you can add your images, you can tag your images and materials. So say this particular uh, Crossville product is going to be used for my pretend bar and it's going to be floor one. So all of those different tags that you allocate to materials and images can be viewed when you switch your view to tags and they show up here on the left or you can also filter by them. So if you are working on a large project, I really like this filter because if you wanna look at the materials that you have selected for the bar area so far, you can filter by that. If you wanna see the things that have been client approved so far, et cetera, et cetera. You can use this however you'd like. You can also add collaborators with this plus sign right here. As long as they're a material bank user, it does not matter what office they work in, if you have a multi-office firm, or even if it's another firm. You can also export your specs into an Excel file, um, which is a really powerful time saver. And you have your PDF um, button that gives you all of the spec sheets for these products into a zip folder. And then you have your select button that allows you to multi-select and tag, delete and order. And then you have your order all button that puts everything into your cart. And your cart looks a little bit like this. Now, I know that everybody is working from home and I'm excited to say that you can ship your samples to wherever you'd like. All you have to do is click this change button right here and add that new address. And once you add it the first time, it will live here in your dropdown. So you can ship it directly to your doorstep. Uh, you can ship it directly to a client if you need to whatever the case may be. You have until midnight Eastern to place your sample orders. And I'm gonna say that again, you have until midnight Eastern. Not that you should be working that late, <laughs> but if you are, um, it's really nice to have that extra time to get your samples and they're at your door the following morning. Now I wanna take it back to the homepage and point out some cool things. We just launched Knowledge Bank. This is another free resource for our members, it is a glossary of terms of all of those things that are technical in nature, possibly aesthetic, that have to live in our minds as designers. Now you have a great uh, quick resource to find that information and also learn something new. And on our homepage, we put together trending collections purely for inspirational purposes. We know that everyone being at home right now is, um, is in dire need for all of that inspiration and any kind of spec help. So Moltar is definitely the place to do that. And when you need that specification help or those physical samples, you can come on over to Material Bank to do just that. And then my last um, blip of information, we also provide free returns. So the box that we send out to you guys looks a little something like this. It's kind of like a Christmas present. I know my opinion is biased, um, but it does convert into a return box. So those samples that we send out to you, if they don't work out for your project or weren't what you wanted them to be, you can send them right back to us free of charge. This box does have a United States Postal Service prepaid label, so you can just give it to your mailman. So with that said, I'm gonna hand this back off to Sadie um, so we can answer any questions you might have and kind of close this out today. Yeah, so and I think, I think, I think we, oh, go ahead, just say, I think we did have a question come Another in. Question, I do. Yeah specifically for Michelle. Um, so asking if the materials have HPDs and EPDs info. So it completely depends on the manufacturer and what they provide us with. So whenever you're in a material page, you can search for it on that on that page. So it's completely contingent on um, the manufacturer. I hope that answered your question, Mariela. Excellent. Excellent. And then I do just have to say, um, not even being a designer, um, I agree that we did get a material bank box as a sample into our office at Mortar. And I agree, it is like a Christmas present. I really, um, it's great packaging and I love digging through the one that you guys sent over. So, Yay. Uh, all right. So I am, let's see, I'll just kind of flip back over to um, possibly sharing my screen if I can find it, technical difficulties. Yeah, so um, just flipping back over to the mortar site quickly. Um, really in closing, I, I just want to remind everybody that these tools between mortar and material bank, each of these platforms are totally free. 
um, and available for your use. Um, on mortar, I can speak to that. Anybody within the industry, so um, whether you're a designer or maybe you're on the um, brand side of it, you're the manufacturer, um, or anybody else, even within that within that um, whole ecosystem, please go out, check mortar out, create a personal profile, uh, explore around, create a design room, invite somebody if you want to, don't if you don't want to, um, but please go out there and explore and then use, you know, remember those buttons. So remember uh, these product tags where you can get, gather more information, how you have that link to hop over to Material Bank or um, even to gather any of the other resources around the products that you're looking for. So just wanted to highlight that. And um, remember with these, both of these platforms, you don't need any specific software. These are websites, which is great. You're, they're accessible from anywhere. So it doesn't matter if you're a Mac or a PC user, if you're a you know, Google Suite or Microsoft Teams, there's nothing tricky that you need to learn here. You can literally just go out, find what you need, save it, pin it, um, collaborate with other people, and um, just start taking advantage of these tools that are out there and um, are compatible with other things you're doing in your life. And then um, just really speaking for Mortar, I know that we're, I wanna share that we're really dedicated to helping um, make your lives easier. We are a newer platform and we've been live for um, just shy of two years. And we are continuously growing and adding features and expanding on the features on our site. And we always want your feedback. So um, I would really encourage you to share that feedback with us. Uh, for both myself and Juliana, our emails, I know we're at the beginning, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, you have Juliana's email from the, um, you should have that from the uh, registration process for this webinar. Reach out to us anytime, send us an email. Um, our, we also have a contact button right on mortar.com and a chat feature that we're happy to converse with you and um, just answer any questions or take any feedback that you might have. Um, and we do have, um, well, I'll make sure to put the link in the follow-up email with this recording, but we have a survey out right now. We'd love any input on that as well, um, just so that we can constantly be improving for this, this A&D community. Um, we do have a question. I think this is probably for both Sadie and Michelle. Um, it says, can brands use design rooms in some way to pre-launch or survey new products, materials, colors in some way? Um, yeah, so I'll speak to the mortar platform. Yeah, you definitely could. They are by invite only. So if it's if it's within a design room, any you would have to actually invite them by email. And as long as they get that and they can come in and they can chat with you. So most definitely. And remember, you're not limited to the number of design rooms. So you could also um, run multiple design rooms based on different groups that you might be including in that survey or you might be querying. And for Material Bank, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to show my screen real quick. So for my reps and uh, brand partners out there, you guys can set up your own Material Bank accounts as part of the brand. And when you're in this board section, you can create a board and add, <clears throat> so I'm going to give you an example board right here, and add materials that are on the platform that designers can have easy orderable access to. You can add images to this board. So if you have um, installation photos, if you have product photos, and as you go and add all of those different components of images and products, you can very easily share your board. So I'm gonna use this one as an example and show you where that feature lies. So this button right here allows you to share a board with those designers that are in your market. So as long as they have a material bank account, you can share a board with them and say, hey, you know, these are the materials that we're launching for spring, or these are, you know, our new launch that's coming soon, or here are a series of inspiration photos. We've done a lot of um, surveys uh, lately and designers right now are dying for inspiration photos and installation photos. They wanna see those materials actually installed. Um, so all of the brand partners out there, you can absolutely create your own boards and simply share them with one click of a button, okay? Great, really good question. Thank you for that, Michael. Um, Jules, do we have any other questions to answer? 
Um, nothing that has come in, but again, just reiterate, feel free to reach out via email, social channels, um, that little chat bot on that pops up when you come to the mortar site. We're always available and, and happy to um, answer any questions that do come in. All right. So it looks like we have one more. Sorry. <laughs> And for the designers on the site, if you do not have a Material Bank account as of yet, all you have to do is go to materialbank.com and click anywhere on the site and fill out that registration page. Okay. Great. Looks like we do, like Jill said, we have, oh, here we go. And you show how to navigate to Gensler Material Bank. Hmm. I'm not sure what you, what you mean. Do you guys, are you talking about maybe a Gensler training? And if any, <laughs> give her a minute to type her response. Sorry, we have everybody on mute, so I can't. Well, I can, I can connect um, with this particular user offline and help them out. Perfect, perfect. So that's great, we'll share that. And then um, Michelle, any closing thoughts? Uh, no, that, that's it. I mean, again, if you guys are already using the platform um, as a designer myself, I love the fact that you can see images in context and see materials in context on Modar and just click them and be able to get the physical samples through the platform. So this tag team um, is really powerful and I wish it exists like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. So good. Um, one final question um, from Michael. Do you guys have any integration with BIM files? Um, we do have a partnership with BIM and that is live on the mortar site. Um, Michael, I, I'm, I'm not sure if you're asking for on behalf of mortar or material bank, but um, Sadie, do you want to try and pull up? Yeah, did you see that looks like? Did I get the, did I get the uh, <laughs> screen? Yes, I can see your screen. <laughs> if I can find one here. Um, yeah, so, okay, I say Bison. So we, uh, we actually have very similar to our partnership with Material Bank. We also have a partnership with BIM Object. So we have a link directly to um, files that are uh, with BIM Object. So this is the same thing, a one-click link. When you see this view BIM icon, it's a one-click link over to the, that BIM Object on, or that BIM file on BIM Object. Um, and then we also may have anywhere you see more product info, uh, that could be a link to anywhere. So um, that could be a link to uh, an overall product information page that could have BIM files, specifications, or any additional product details. So um, another great question. Hope that answers it. Great. All right. Well, we um, greatly appreciate everybody's time today. Um, stay strong <laughs> with all of this, everything that's going on in the world. I know it is really difficult, especially at this time, to balance the um, work and being successful and progressive with what you're doing professionally with everything else that's going on in our personal lives and just our overall day-to-day -day being so disrupted. Uh, we appreciate you guys taking the time to learn more about Mortar and Material Bank and how we can um, hopefully help you through everything that's going on now and then even really into the future once things do get back to normal, which we know will happen eventually. So um, thanks again for jumping on and everybody's time and enjoy um, your holiday weekend at home. <laughs> Great. Thanks, everybody.